I've been chickened. Ooh, welcome, friends, to a new episode of Feed the Beast Revelation. I'm Clobberstop. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a pretty good day. And, uh, yeah, I saw that little clip in the beginning. We, uh, somebody chickened my house. Or maybe that's just a weird thing. I suspect it was Andy. I, I went roaming over to his house, and we'll go check it out. He's been moving along. He's really far along. So he's got, like, crazy farms. He's got chickens. He's got horses. He's He's got everything going on over there. So I'm guessing maybe he threw some eggs in there and got some chickens in my house. Pretty funny stuff. Um, but today what I've been working on is getting a smeltery going. I saw that he got a smeltery over there, so I figured it'd be nice to have one here at spawn to get going. So I've done some a lot of off-camera work. Uh, getting things going so um, I don't know if you're familiar with making this stuff but you need a here let's do let's take a look I'll show you what you need so what you can do is get the tinkers book now I cannot remember how to make the book is it maybe it's tinkers manual nope that's manulinium. There it is. Materials and you. So you get a book and a blank pattern. You make a blank pattern with some wood and some sticks. Pretty easy stuff. And then it'll tell you how to do that. And then you can just put the book in your inventory again right here. And it'll make materials and you volume two. I think. I can't remember. Um... Maybe it's smeltery. I can't remember. Either way, all you do is you just put the book in there and you get the second version of the book. I just don't remember exactly how to do it. I just know that I know how to make it because I've done it so many times. So let's go find all the pieces that we need. Uh, where are the bricks? Um... Those are all those, 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 those. Here we go. So, seared stone, which you make from making grout. You can make grout by sand, clay, and gravel. Pretty easy stuff. Um, you can make that guy. And then you make these seared bricks, which you make by making four of these. Pretty easy. And then, so what? you need a few things. You need some bricks. You need a smeltery. Oh, did I make a furnace controller? I did. I do this every time. You actually need a smeltery controller. So you need eight bricks. Not a furnace. Do not make the furnace controller. That's for making something different. I, I, I always do that. So let's do this. We'll make the do, 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 furnace controller. I did this last time in the last season too. Don't make that one. Make that one. Then you need a casting table, you need a casting basin, you need some faucets, and some drains. And just for aesthetics, I like to use glass in certain parts, and a tank, which I only made one, but we can make more. So where is the tank? Do do do. Tank. Just some glass. So let's get this. I thought we had some glass in here. Do we not? I used it, didn't I? Dag nab it. Okay, that's fine. We have a few pieces of sand. We can do that, and we can do this, and we can do that. And we're gonna get our sh trusty shovel out, and we're gonna we're gonna peel this down a little bit. Don't tell anybody. Shh. Get a couple more pieces. Nothing crazy. Make it look a little natural. There we go. And we'll cook up this. We'll have some more glass, and we can make some more tanks. Right, so let's do that, and that we can do. So you make a tank just by doing this here, do, 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 and then around like this. So now we've got three tanks. So I think the best place to put it is pretty much right here. Let's peel this out a little bit. Uh, 
Uh, we're gonna kick this back here. Got some more hops, some hot hops action. Okay, let's put those back. So the first thing you wanna start with is your controller. So we're gonna put that right here. Boom, perfect. And then we're gonna put our tanks. I like to put the tanks on top. Oh wait, no, I think we have to have it on the side, don't we? That's okay, let's put it on the side. There we go. And then I usually like to do this where we put these up front so you can kind of see what's happening. That's the tanks. The tanks are for the lava. And actually we're going to make it a five by five because we can. So we're going to do this. Let's come back here. Uh, so we have to peel this out. We have to get this stuff out here. Okay, perfect. Uh, we're going to have to bring this back one more time, too. Or actually, you know what? We're going to do this. Instead of doing that, we're just going to move it over one. And then we'll be fine. Whoops. Put you down. Not the furnace controller. The smeltery controller. Don't forget. Now, I like to put these windows in because it's easy to see what's in the smeltery then. And we probably make three more. We've got enough. Let's make three more. Uh, let's cook up some more grout. Then we'll be able to make a few more. So we'll put these here. Boom. Uh, there's going to be three that go there, and that will be good. Then what I like to do is I like to place one block here, like so. And then we're going to one, two, three, four. This is why I didn't want. This is why I was hoping Cribs would put this all in, but he didn't. That's okay. Uh, So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and we're gonna do a five by five, so we need to go back a few more. This is gonna be a pretty large smeltery. You don't have to make it this large. You, of course, can make it uh, three by three, and you'll require a lot less than you need, uh, than I made here. So there we go. And you do one, you do five by five for the middle or three by three. And then you can do the edges here like so. Okay, there we go. And that's perfect. Uh, I will probably We'll fix the what's underneath that because I don't like how it looks. It never looked, that doesn't look nice. Put this around. One more tank. Put tanks on this side too. Boom. There we go. Once you get this, you have made a successful smeltery. Now you can, we can go up, which is exactly what we're gonna do. So there'll be two more tanks here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our drains on the edges here. One drain there, and one drain there. Reason being is now we can place this guy right there, and then put a faucet on it. Boom, boom, and then we'll put the casting table there. Perfect. So now let's put these back down. So now what I like to do is I usually like to put a hopper. I haven't made any yet. I put a hopper into a chest that goes so you can actually put a clock on this if you want. So let's move this here. We're going to make it another step higher. I'm sorry, tree. You're going to have to go away. I don't have time for that. And we are 
out. I could make windows here and we could add a few more. There we go. We can add another drain. Let's get that going. Or not a drain, I'm sorry. A tank. So now what you do is you fill the tanks with lava and that will have to get some down there. So I'll have to go get some lava with some buckets and I'll get this going. So I'm going to finish this up. We'll get some lava and I'm going to stack this one more higher because we are actually out of bricks. But now we should be able to smelt whatever we can. Now the cool thing about this, do we have anything to smelt? We do. We've got some lead. So when we get some stuff in there, we can put this in here. Look at that. Lead will not smelt or not enough heat to smelt this. That's fine because we don't have anything in there yet, which is perfect. But you can automate this a little bit, which we will do. All right, friends, we're back. I've went and gathered a whole bunch of lava, and we should be able to fill this up now. Uh, we're going to do a little do -si do action here. Fill that up like so. I just went and grabbed a whole bunch of lava. So you can fill it up. It looks like it takes about four buckets per tank. So there we go. So now it has turned that, so those two ingots into four ingots. Whoa, oh, you can obviously smelt that. We don't want to do that. Um, I could get some more, but we're all good. Uh, ooh, we've got some more of those. I could make, so we've got three more. Uh, that's six. That's one, two, three, four. Actually, I need a whole bunch more. Yeah, that's fine. I want to finish off the top, but we've got a whole bunch that we can fill in there. So we've got tons of things that now um, we can put nickel in there. There we go. Let's put the nickel in there. Now it's going to smelt up. Look at that. And if nickel and lead make something, it's going to fuse together and make a new thing, which is great. So this is, we only, now we have ore doubling and we've got other stuff going on, which is great. Now the other piece that we can do is we can now make some castings. And if I had nine of something in there, I could make a full block of whatever, which is cool. We can also automate the we don't need this many tanks this is just for looks <laughs> you only need one tank really so we could make a pump that's in the nether and a pump that comes here and then pumps right into that which is the next piece so now we've got four nickel and four of those guys too uh we do need to get ourselves some gold now i have not done Ooh, let's go get some gold Actually, I'm going to leave this stuff here because we can. And ooh, I'm going to need those because we're going to upgrade stuff. Let's go to our base where I've been chickened um, and go see what types of ore we have. I think I've got some ore that needs some processing either with the ore doubling well either either way the ore doubling you can do with the grinder or with tinkers which is great so now okay i'm gonna put you away i think we can place that on regular ground um nope we need regular dirt do i have a piece of dirt yes put you there there we go Perfect. So it doesn't work on the silty dirt, which is a bummer, which is okay. Do we have any ore? We've got some redstone, which we need to make ourselves clock, a redstone clock. So we need a redstone torch and some stone, which that's fine. As long as we have that, we can take that. And we've got some gold. 
and some iron we need to smelt up and that should be good eventually we'll have that stuff here do I have anything in the separate sections no okay cool well let's go back Oh, I missed it. I thought I was going to get a super jump. I failed. Dang it. And it's a rainy, soggy day here on the Clobberstown Patreon server. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, cool. So what's really neat is we can make ourselves a clock. Do we have any stone? We do. Stone and some sticks. We need two redstone torches and then we can do okay I did that wrong we've got that and now I think we need two more sticks and some cobblestone so we can make some levers Perfect. So now what we can do is I'm actually going to break that off because we don't want to make a plate. We're going to put the clock up there and turn it off. And we're going to do the same thing here. Boom. And we're going to put a clock up there and we're going to turn it off. So now these clocks will automate the whole process, which is awesome. Ooh, so let's put this in there and let's put that in there so you see we can fill this all the way up so now it's gonna smelt all this at the same time and double it all at once and then if any of these can actually combine it will which is great news because that's what you want so I think what we should do next is uh, let's make two hoppers Okay, so that's how five, so we need ten and two chests. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna. Here's what I like to do. So I place the chest here, and then we put a hopper. Oh, we didn't haven't made the hopper yet, dummy. I needed four chests. Do I have any more wood? No, let's chop down this ebony tree. Come here. Come here, you ebony tree. Time to die. Give me the goods. All right, perfect. So we should be able to do this. So those make regular chests. That's okay, we can use the regular chests to make uh, do, 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 some iron stuff and things. To make some hoppers. All right, so now we can place a hopper into that thing. And now it automatically works. Okay, and let's do the same thing on this side. Let's change that out. Okay, that did not work the way I was ex expecting, but that's okay. Uh, and we can put this guy here and place you into that. There we go. Now we've got that. We've got that. This is an automated process now. So look at, we now have made ourselves, so we've got some invar, that's super cool. Ooh, let's turn that into one block. So we're gonna turn this on. See, there we go. It's gonna fill up. All right, let's come on, let's go invar. 
Let's fill this up with a block of invar, and we're going to turn it off. So you could leave this on indefinitely if you had this thing full, but we don't need to do that. So now, as you see, it's going to take a little bit of time for the invar block to uh, solidify, and when it does, it's going to go through the hopper into the chest. And we can upgrade these chests later uh, when we get through more stuff, but as you can see, we've got a lot of good stuff in here. So perfect, we now have a sweet, sweet tinker set up. Okay, the other piece of the cool equation we want to do is we need to make, um, what kind of table is it? Table? Uh, nope. At Tinkers. I can't, is it a tool station? A four, here we go. A tool forge. So seared bricks. Oh, electrical steel block. You don't need iron blocks anymore. How do we make electrical steel? Oh, okay. That's a little bit more difficult. Molten electrical steel. How do you make that? Okay, that did not work. Uh, an arc furnace. An electrical steel jet pack. Uh, I think we need to get into some Ender I.O. and make ourselves an alloy smelter. Yep. So that's what we need. We need an alloy smelter so we can do coal, iron, and silicon to make electrical steel. So we can't make that yet. I was going to try to make a tool forge today, but that's not going to happen. I think actually Andy has one. So if we wanted to, we could go make what we needed to. But now we've got a block of Invar. We'll put the iron in there too. There we go. We've done it. Ah, uh, One thing we can do is now that we've got... Do we have any gold? Okay, gold is made... For making castings so we can take one ingot and we can make a casting out of it so now when that turns into a casting that's going to come down here it actually burns up whatever you used which is fine so now we have f everything is ingots we could just turn this on and now this is just going to make ingots gold ingots there we go we have now automated our stuff. Nine and oh, it tells you how much is free. That's cool. So you can we this will hold a thousand ingots. Nice. Well, there we go. We've got it. We've done it. Beautiful. <laughs> well, friends, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I most certainly have. Uh, we got a lot done. We made ourselves a Tinker Smeltery today. I was going to try to do some more uh, upgrade this guy this guy to a Tool Forge, but we need electrical steel, and I haven't got to that point yet, so that's something we're going to have to do later. So there we go. We now have a nice smeltery. Uh, I'm going to have to make a cool path that goes that way past the smeltery. I might even get everything out of here and push this back. This kind of intrudes. Ugh, it's okay. We might have to make some changes, but uh, it's okay. We're good. Uh, let's put this stuff away. I don't need any of that stuff. Um, I'm going to put that redstone in there because I have plenty at my base. We'll put you there. And we're good. Cool. All right, friends. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, stomp the like button. It really does help me out. Take care and be well.